Marvel Origins. I'm Rebecca, and I'm so excited to help guide you through a universe full of heroes, villains, amazing stories, fantastic movies, and an incredible mythology that has been part of our culture for over 80 years. Who here is a Marvel super fan? That's awesome. This yeah. may not be the show for you. You're probably still going to enjoy it. But who is still starting their Mar Marvel journey? Maybe doesn't know a ton yet. Excellent. You are in the right spot. This presentation Best is made in the world. for you. Now, you might be wondering how we're going to fit that much awesome content into such a short time. Great question. We've brought in a few Marvel experts from Marvel.com to take you through this amazing journey. Ahoy, Marvel Day at Sea! I'm Ryan Paragos, aka Agent M, from This Week in Marvel. And I'm Lorraine Singh from Marvel's Earth's Mightiest Show. Yeah, and we're here to take you all the way back to the beginning of how yep. this Marvel Universe came to be. It all began in 1939 when a publishing company known as Timely Publications introduced its first comic, which was called Marvel Comics! The first issue of Marvel Comics had several short stories featuring some unique characters like a fiery android superhero, the Human Torch, the underwater anti-hero, Submariner, a hero of the jungle, Kazar, and more. Interestingly enough, iterations of those characters still live on today in the Marvel Universe. A couple of years passed, comics were booming, and more superheroes emerged from timely comics. The most notable was in 1941 with an introduction of a beloved patriotic hero. Captain America! Created by Jack Kirby, remember that name, and Joe Simon. Captain America became a huge hit for timely comics because his story reflected the times as a hero ready to take on the bullies of the world. He was joined by a teenager named Bucky, really appealed to the kids of the day. So, Captain Bucky, along with the Human Torch and some Mariner, became a part of what is known as the Golden Age of comics. Popular characters and types of stories were then changing, and in the 1950s, Timely became known as, say it with me, Atlas Comics. Not only did Timely get a new name, it also got a new editor, a 19-year-old writer by the name of Stanley Martin Lieber. Sound familiar? If not, he changed his name to who we now know as Marvel icon Stan Lee. Okay, so Ooh. interesting story, Stanley Martin Lieber used the pseudonym Stan Lee because he was worried about his reputation as a writer. You see, yeah. comics weren't a mainstream thing back then, and they were really considered only for kids. So he changed his name to Stan Lee for comics and planned to use his real name for writing legitimate stories where he would gain notoriety. Little did he know that comics would give him way more notoriety than he could ever want, and he eventually legally changed his name to Stan Lee. As the 1950s rolled along, Atlas Comics had mostly shifted away from superheroes, with titles focusing on western cowboy stories or sci-fi monsters, romance comics, talking animals, and so much more. But let's jump to 1961, when Atlas changed his name to... Marvel Comics! Yeah, and things were about to shift again. After years of writing the same kid comics, Stan Lee was becoming a little discouraged, and one day, he considered quitting. That evening, he had a talk with his wife, Joni, and she suggested that he could do whatever he wanted. What was the worst thing they could do? They could fire him? Since Stan was gonna quit anyway, he decided to do something different. And he went against the traditional storytelling for kids to write stories that would appeal to older audiences as well. Yeah, so Stan got together with legendary artist Jack Kirby, the co-creator of Captain America, who had been working, like Stan, across all genres and stories through those atmospheres. And they went on to create... The Fantastic Four. Four friends who traveled into space were hit with cosmic rays transforming them into fantastic heroes. But Stan and Jack had created the first family of heroes as well, with real human characteristics. Stan's script gave them flaws that made them relatable to its readers. And Kirby's art was so dynamic and bombastic, he made it look like the characters were jumping off the page. And guess what? It was a huge hit! Stan Lee was right to challenge the readers with more nuanced stories and characters, so Lee and Kirby went on to create iconic heroes and multi-dimensional villains such as the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, the Mighty Thor, and dozens of others. 
This unconventional take on their funny book characters was much appreciated by its readers and began attracting a much broader audience. Oh, and here's a cool fact. At the 2017 D23 Expo, Stanley and Jack Kirby were inducted as Disney legends to honor their amazing contributions. It's well deserved. But it wasn't only Jack Kirby whom Stan Lee would team with to shape and develop the Marvel Universe. Oh no, Stan Lee would make magic with a host of talented storytellers. Mark Severin, Bill Everett, and Steve Ditko, just to name a few. One particular team up between Lee and artist Steve Ditko gave us the most popular Marvel superhero. Everyone's favorite wall crawler, the amazing... Spider-Man! I'll bet most of you knew that. Spider-Man, of course, made his first appearance in 1962's Amazing Fantasy, issue number 15, before he got proven so wildly popular that he got his own title the next year. Stanley's boss, Marvel's publisher, thought that he was crazy to create a character named after a spider because people hate spiders. But that's a good thing that uh, Stan didn't listen. Yeah. And another way that Marvel was so beloved was it engaged directly with its readers, creating a community for the fans through letters, columns, and the comics. And it worked. The team at Marvel continued to create characters in realistic settings that would persevere even through difficult struggles while balancing personal lives and concerns. Characters that were reflective of everyday people with powers often earned nor obtained. Marvel and Marvel's amazing creators also celebrated diversity which in turn added even more relatable and awesome characters for the readers. It's a pretty impressive history, huh? Well, all of this fantastic Marvel content can